Available now. Link below. And now in our special report, we delve into a series of global events that are not just alarming, but potentially prophetic. With a rare solar eclipse casting shadows named after ancient biblical cities, twin broods of cicadas threatening to swarm, and the world's most powerful particle accelerator CERN activating in sync with celestial events, the question arises, what does all of this mean? Well, these occurrences have baffled experts, stoked fears, and fueled speculations across the globe. From the sudden disappearance of weather radar data amidst severe storms, to unexplained nationwide communications blackouts, the confluence of these events could be more than mere coincidence. Could these be the signs foretold in ancient texts? Well, stay with us as we explore the implications of these signs and what they could mean for the future of humanity. And don't miss the final thought. It's a perspective that you will need to hear. And before we delve into the unfolding mysteries of our world where the unexpected convergence of solar flares, cicada broods, and cutting-edge scientific endeavors at CERN, seem to mirror the complexities of our personal lives, a quick note on the different kind of pressure many of us face. Financial instability. And just as these global events are converging in unexpected ways, so too as Americans' debt reached a historic peak, illustrating the immense strain of navigating through economic uncertainties heightened by the rising interest rates and inflation. It's a storm of financial challenges, but there is a beacon of hope. National debt relief has been that beacon for me, providing a tailored plan to weather the storm and emerge financially stable with no upfront fees and a free consultation. Their expert guidance has helped over 600,000 people regain control, proving that even in the most turbulent times, there is a path to calm. So find your path at NoDebtWithGary.com and take the first step towards financial stability today. That's NoDebtWithGary.com. I'll see you there. Now, as severe storms battered the nation, a widespread data outage struck the National Weather Service, leaving forecasters scrambling to issue timely warnings. The telecommunications breakdown at NOAA facility in College Park, Maryland, prevented crucial radar data from reaching offices across the country. Now, here is where the radars that were down during the massive storm, you can see it here. This is an actual loop that we found. Uh, this was from Dutch Sense, actually. He had posted on his Twitter and we, you can see the radar going down, public-facing radar sites down, uh, and warning distribution was all hindered. Meteorologists face unprecedented challenges in keeping the public safe during this critical moment. The outage lasts for several hours, impacting multiple forecast offices and causing delays in severe weather alerts. As the nation grappled with the consequences of this technological failure, questions arose about the resilience of our weather monitoring systems and the need for robust backup plans. The question is, was it a cyber attack? And as if the weather chaos wasn't enough, two massive broods of periodical cicadas, brood 13 and brood 19, are set to emerge simultaneously for the first time in 221 years. Billions of these insects will blanket parts of the United States, potentially devastating crops in their wake. This rare double emergence is a once-in-a-lifetime event last occurring in 1803 and not expected again until 2245. Now, the cicadas, known for their distinct red eyes and orange-tinged wings, will create a deafening chorus as they emerge from their underground lairs to mate and lay eggs. And while some may view this phenomenon as a fascinating display of nature's cycles, farmers and gardeners are bracing for the potential damage these insects can inflict on their livelihoods. Meanwhile, as the cicadas prepare to surface, a European organization, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is gearing up to activate the Large Hadron Collider during the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th. And scientists hope to unravel the mysteries of the universe, specifically targeting the elusive dark matter that makes up a staggering 28% of our cosmos. Now, this ambitious experiment coinciding with this celestial event has raised eyebrows and sparked intrigue among experts and the public alike. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, will smash protons together at nearly the speed of light, recreating conditions similar to those just after the alleged Big Bang. By studying the subatomic debris left behind by these collisions, researchers aim to shed light on the fundamental building blocks of the universe and potentially discover new particles that could revolutionize our understanding of physics. Now, the total solar eclipse itself is a sight to behold, with millions eagerly awaiting its arrival. 
However, NASA has taken the opportunity to launch rockets at the moon during this time, adding to the aura of cosmic significance surrounding the event. As the moon's shadow crosses the United States, it will create an awe-inspiring spectacle, briefly turning day into night along its path. Take a look. The total solar eclipse is just eight days away, and NASA announced that they will launch three rockets during the eclipse. The rockets will help scientists study how Earth's upper atmosphere is affected during the phenomenon. The rockets were also launched during last year's annular solar eclipse. They were recovered in New Mexico. The total solar eclipse is happening on April 8th, and the next one isn't until 2044. So scientists are taking advantage of the rare opportunity to collect important data. Now the eclipse will be visible from a narrow band stretching from Mexico to the northeastern United States with the point of greatest duration occurring in Texas. Astronomers and enthusiasts alike are preparing to witness this rare celestial alignment, which hasn't occurred over the United States since 2017. NASA's decision to launch rockets during the eclipse has piqued the curiosity of many, with speculation running rampant about the purpose and timing of these missions. Now, in anticipation of the eclipse and the potential for unprecedented crowds, an astounding 20 states have all declared states of emergency. National Guard troops are being deployed to assist with crowd control and emergency response, highlighting the gravity of the situation. Here's more. The 2024 solar eclipse has potential to be the largest tourism event in Arkansas's history. That expectation bringing officials from nearly every state department together Monday, each reporting their progress and planning for the eclipse. One big question still in the air, just exactly how many people are expected to make the trip to Arkansas? Obviously the weather and some other uh, factors outside of our control can impact the number of visitors. If we have really great weather and Texas has really bad weather, then we may see an influx. RDOT calling April 8th a construction holiday, stopping all road closures and shutting down active work zones from the 5th to the 9th, hoping to ease traffic congestion and concerns about emergency response times. We will be able to use our trauma calm if there's a traumatic event to be able to um, get any patients that need to be um, transported to a hospital. More than 100 school districts across the state have already canceled class for the day. But even though students won't be in the classroom, Education Secretary Jacob Oliva urged the importance of not taking for granted this rare education opportunity. We've deployed about a million uh, glasses to the schools directly so that we can make sure our students, our teachers and parents and families are able to participate in a safe uh, uh, experience. With concerns ranging from traffic congestion to overtax resources, authorities are taking proactive measures to ensure public safety during this momentous occasion. States along the path of totality, such as Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee, are expecting an influx of visitors eager to witness the eclipse in its full glory. The National Guard's involvement underscores the logistical challenges and potential risks associated with managing large-scale gatherings during a time of heightened excitement and unpredictable circumstances. Remarkably, the path of the solar eclipse seems to hold a deeper meaning. Now take a look at this picture right here. As the moon's shadow traverses the nation, it will complete the shape of the Paleo-Hebrew letters Tav and Aleph, representing the Alpha and the Omega, or the beginning and the end. Moreover, numerous locations along the eclipse's trajectory bear names of biblical significance, such as Nineveh, Jonah, and Salem. Now, these uncanny coincidences have sparked discussions about the potential prophetic implications of the celestial event. Some religious leaders and believers have pointed to these signs as indications of a greater spiritual meaning, drawing parallels to biblical prophecies and the idea of divine providence. While opinions on the significance of these connections vary, the alignment of the eclipse path with the ancient symbols and names has undoubtedly added an extra layer of intrigue to an already captivating event. As if the eclipse wasn't enough to captivate the sky watchers, a newly discovered comet, ominously named the Devil Comet, is set to make an appearance on April 8th. This celestial wanderer has been making headlines due to its unique horned appearance and the timing of its arrival. Here's more on that. The upcoming solar eclipse is not the only unique sight you will be able to see in the sky. The, a horned comet will be visible during the eclipse 
on April 8th. It's also called the Devil's Comet. Travels around the sun once every 71 years, similar to Halley's Comet. Gets its name due to its unusual shape. Stargazers also say it looks like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Ed. So with its eerie moniker and the surrounding celestial events, the Devil Comet has become a subject of fascination and speculation. Astronomers have been closely monitoring the comet's trajectory, which will bring it closest to Earth on the day of the eclipse. The comet's unusual shape, resembling a pair of horns, has fueled imaginations and led some to draw connections to ancient myths and folklore. While the scientific community acknowledges the comet as a natural phenomenon, the presence during this time of heightened cosmic activity has only added to the sense of wonder and mystery. Now, amidst all these incredible happenings, it's worth noting that a similar confluence of events occurred back in 1811. The solar eclipse and the passing of a comet were followed by one of the most powerful earthquakes ever recorded in North America. I'm talking about the New Madrid earthquake. This seismic event caused the Mississippi River to flow backward and created Real Foot Lake, reshaping the landscape of the central United States. The historical parallels between the 1811 events and the upcoming eclipse have not gone unnoticed, leading some to question whether history might be poised to repeat itself, while seismologists have not identified any specific increased risk of earthquakes during the 2024 eclipse. The memory of the New Madrid quake serves as a reminder of the awesome power of nature and the unpredictable forces that shape our world. As a nation braces for the extraordinary alignment of celestial and earthly events, it is clear that the April 8th, 2024 events will be a date forever etched in our collective memory. From the solar eclipse and the emergence of billions of cicadas to the activation of CERN's LHC and the arrival of the Devil Comet, this day is shaping up to be a convergence of the extraordinary. While some of these events may be just coincidences, others are left to ponder the potential significance and wonder if we are indeed witnessing signs of something far greater at play. Regardless of one's beliefs or interpretations, the sheer scale and rarity of these occurrences have captured the imagination of people around the world. As we stand on the precipice of this momentous day, we're reminded of the vast and mysterious universe we inhabit and the incredible wonders that can unfold when the cosmos aligns in ways we have yet to fully comprehend. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's time for my final thought. As we reflect on the extraordinary events surrounding the April 8th solar eclipse, it becomes clear that we're witnessing a convergence of cosmic proportions. From the eerie alignment of celestial bodies to the uncanny parallels with historical events, this day has captured the world's attention and ignited the imaginations of millions. While some may dismiss these occurrences as mere coincidences, it's difficult to ignore the sense of awe and wonder they inspire. Whether viewed through the lens of science, spirituality, or simple human curiosity, the confluence of the eclipse, the emergence of cicadas, the activation of cutting edge technology, and the arrival of a mysterious comet has created a tapestry of intrigue that is impossible to ignore. So as we stand on the threshold of this momentous day, let us embrace the opportunity to marvel at the incredible forces that shape our universe and the profound ways in which they intersect with our lives. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.